Hello everyone, this is Coach Dinosaur. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa mga sa support at sa mga sumusuporta sa sa YouTube channel ko. And I hope na, na nag-enjoy po kayo and uh, ang pinakamahalaga may nakukuha po kayong um, kaalaman or knowledge or even some ano um, tactical skills or strategical skills po. Nagpapasalamat po tayo diyan. Ngayon, um, today, gusto kong itakaw lang one of the anti-Sicilian lines no? na na-encounter ninyo sa Pilipinas and I'm sure even the world champion is using this. And sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, ito po yung isa sa mga solution sa inyong mga uh, opening problems. So, E4, C5, Knight F3, D6, and after... D4, C takes D4, Knight takes... Uh, it's... Normally, it's Knight takes D4, di ba? Pero, some players na na-encounter ninyo sa tournament, tumitira ng Queen takes D4. Sometimes, wala nang oras para mag-aral. And, uh, ang hirap solusyonan. Um, or sometimes, wala, wala tayong materials. Then, this video is for you po. So, after Knight queen d4, queen takes knight ay queen takes pawn um, black can play knight c6 no? At attacking the the queen the, na, ngayon, ang, ang pinakang main point na ito, if the queen moves for example in queen d3 or queen e3 therefore uh, black is fine na no? black is fine na you can play knight uh, uh, knight f6 black is fine na, para siyang ano Parang tumira yung yung puti ng queen d4 and then queen e3 in a Sicilian line which is ano um, ginagamit lang yon if it will be a maroxy bind or something mga ganun yung yung setup no Ngayon dito kaya niya tinira yung queen takes d4 is to ano put pressure na yung queen, hindi siya matatanggal sa queen d4. That's why, most of the time, bishop <coughs> b5 ang tira. May mga tira din na a6 to prevent the bishop b5, pero uh, <coughs> maraming, marami pang um, questions regarding this line. No? Uh, so, prevent those um, variations. Pwede nyo pa rin aralin. Knight c6, now bishop b5. Yun yung <coughs> takeover variation para ma ma mag maging firm and consistent yung queen sa d4. To find pressure doon sa uh, d6 pawn and some sort of yung knight moves to f6. No? So dito, bishop d7 lang ang solution. So of course if queen moves, no ganun na naman. <coughs> Parang ang nangyari, um, white loses 2 temp, ano no, nag-lose nag siya ng 2 moves. Kasi, tumira siya ng queen, D, queen takes d4, then nag queen d3. And later on, mag, uh, nag-set up lang yung, yung item ng mala Nadorf defense. Parang nag-lose na siya ng a lot of moves, no? Yung, yung, ano, yung puti. Nag-lose na siya ng a lot of moves. Uh, sa, gan sa ganitong setup lang, nag-lose na siya. And uh, eventually, uh, black really equalizes in this position. No? So, of course, ang main point ng pote is to, pre is to put the queen on d4. So, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop. Here, knight c3. Diba? So, after knight f6 na meron siyang bishop g5 dito tayo mag um, mag concentrate kasi this position will work on attacking the center kasi <clears throat> for example nag mag e5 ka mag queen d3 there will be always a pressure on uh, d6 diba? that is the point of ano of uh, Bishop G5. No. 
So, syempre, Bishop e- E5 is also playable, pero magko-concentrate tayo sa E6. Kasi yung E6 na yan, <coughs> um, para later on, Black can play D5. <coughs> diba? Once na-establish na niya yung, yung position niya. So, you can see. So, two variations tayo na itatakal. One is um, yung Bishop takes. Kasi ayaw ng 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 puti na magkaroon ng ng ano ng formation pa yung yung itim and he likes two knights na more active than the two bishops di ba pero in this position um, black equalizes uh, talaga pero kailangan mong uh, malaman kung paano i-handle yung yung itim So later on we will also tackle castling, no. So sige. Bishop takes knight, queen takes. You have to exchange now the queen if if uh, black if white ano uh, hindi niya kainin yung queen, um, black gains um, slight advantage. So pawn takes queen. <coughs> no. Pawn takes queen. So dito Um, may two moves tayo, di ba? May knight d4 and also may castling. So, in any move order, so knight uh, d4, um, castling ang solution. So, castling ang solution. Uh, example, knight takes. Uh, pawn takes. Then, after that, transposition tayo sa ganitong position. Black will have a powerful center formation even though may mga weaknesses siya sa sa king side yung each pawn and yung a pawn yung queen side pero <clears throat> um, those are isolated pawns pero um, there are uh, no pieces to attack such isolated in as a matter of fact ang mas vulnerable to attack is yung yung G2 and yung F2. Kasi di ba yung ito, yung E4 has to be um, exchanged na because of that D5. So we will tackle this then. Uh, rook D3 for example. So, so the plan is to put the rook on uh, F3 putting pressure on on F6. or f pawns pero gan ano lang siya simple lang uh, you can play a uh, bishop c5 after rook f3 may balik lang na ano na bishop e7 meron din namang uh, after g3 no um titira dito and there is a uh, rook f3 di ba kasi pag kinain mo pag kinain mo medyo tagilid tayo sa rook f1 all right tagilid yan so trick yung ano yung g3 na yan so ano lang siya so h5 so after this dito na papasok yung sacrifice f5 so kailangan talaga prepared ka sa ganitong setup And even though uh, white gains uh, one point advantage, uh, maganda yung ano yung position niya kasi yung center um, really um, strong and chaka yung bishop ano very flexible yung ano move. Uh, pwedeng ibalik sa e7, then the bishop is also attacking the f2, diba? So now. Um, knight d1 to make use of the rook then uh, so king c7 lang very careful because um, rook c3 is uh, is is very dangerous so it will be skewered no? so bishop d6 for example ano siya uh, there is a threat no kaya hindi basta basta yung yung threat ng itim din So maybe um rook b3 here comes ano 
e4, rook e1, then rook h8. So, kung titignan mo, very awkward yung, ano, yung position ng, ng, ng puti. Parang wala na siyang matirang matino. So, for example, uh, for example, na mag, ano siya, mag, mag, uh, knight e3, bishop c5. Parang wala nang matira. So, h3, tapos sabay a5. G4, A4. Tapos, pag ganyan, may B4 na. Diba? Sugswal na. So, very danger, no? So, after nito, what if uh, A3, meron naman ng T4. So, Knight C4, A4. So, in the end, kulong, kulong yung bishop. So, pag wala siyang ginawa talaga, <clears throat> yung pote will have ano uh, in big trouble will be in big trouble so itong position na to <clears throat> para sa akin i give uh, i give white an exchange advantage uh, one point advantage pero uh, the position is uh, is getting sugswang for white It's getting so strong for a while. Uh, diba? So, wala siyang matirang matino eh. For, for example, um, Rook E1, diba? May A5, so gaganon muna siya. Rook B3. Then after that, um, uh, E4, Rook E1, Rook H, E8. <coughs> okay, let's see naman what if F3. So, looks good. Pero, after this, pawn captures lang. Rook takes, rook takes. No choice yun, ha? Or else, uh, pa, for example, gumanyang ka, then, it's the same thing. It, this will happen. So, rook takes na yan. Anyway, ito, wala, wala naman siya kasi may knight takes. Uh, so, rook takes, rook takes. So, still, white has the advantage, but after rook e2, H3, King D6, uh, mamomoblema sa endgame si, si Puti. So, wala, walang masyadong tira kasi these squares are protected by this ano, um, bishop on B6. So, for example, um, H6, H6, and then after that, may good move siya para mas stop. Diba? May, may ganun eh. May bishop uh, g5. So, for example, nag uh, h6 siya, therefore, meron ng ano, um, king, knight e3, check, uh, after neto, then may king e6. Kakainin na yung pawn sa f6, which parang walang magawa si, ano, si puti. Wala talagang magawa. Oh, so, after a knight, so my knight takes siya. Tapos, for example, uh, for example, uh, manguha siya dito. I think, um, very dangerous. No? Very dangerous na sa, ano, sa, sa puti. And actually, black is winning sa ganitong position. So, hindi ma, ano, hindi niya ma... Hindi talaga ma mahirap talaga yung position ng puti. So, uh, example, knight, knight c3, then may king h2 tayo. So, if g4, may capture, h takes, and then rook g2. Ganon din. So, pag, pag rook f4, there is check. Fork. Talo, talo agad. Pag rook naman, Uh, may f6 muna para maka para this move f6 is a very good move because uh, to wait ano ang gagawin ng 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 puti, ng puti at the same time yung g4 is still ano 
under attack. Kasi pag kinain mo, no, there is check and then yung C6 medyo vulnerable siya. So kaya nag uh, play ng F6. Okay. So kung may mga tanong po tayo, you can raise this uh, in 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 this um, video and then I'll try to answer po. So <clears throat> let's go back, no? Doon sa position medyo in depth talaga siya not 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 for beginners or even intermediate players or even advanced medyo uh, high na siya uh, so after <coughs> d5 it ha ano maganda na yung yung position ngayon pag for example hindi naman kinain no for example nag ano lang siya nag castling still d5 is the next move again pawn takes pawn eh. pawn takes pawn Bishop takes. Ngayon, pag knight takes, transposition lang siya. No? Ngayon, pag kinain naman, bishop takes, eh, dito tayo, equal na equal yung position. Again, there is h7 isolated pawn for black. Pero, uh, vulnerable ang pawns ng puti sa f2 and g2. No? f2 and g2 vulnerable siya. So, if knight takes, ayun, no? Medyo active yung yung itim sa larong ganito. For example, knight f3. Meron tayong ganito, ang tira. a5. So, after a3, meron tayong, ano, um, check. King b1. Then, ganun. If g3, may mga ganitong style pa. Di ba? And it will give a lot of pressure. Ngayon, pag uh, tumira ng uh, FG3, rook takes, rook takes, and then E5, which is, ano, uh, putting a lot of pressure dito sa, uh, sa E4. So, like, for example, check, King D7, uh, mag move on na yung ano yung there is a pressure on on e4 so it's very hard for white to secure yung pawn niya sa f2 kasi talagang ano na yung king hindi maka move sa center because of this bishop diba? so So, for example, tumira siya ng mga F3, mga ganitong tira. I think, I think this position, ayan, siya. You don't exchange the bishop na with the knight because two bishops in an open um, diagonals position, um, two bishops are better than two knights na in a open position. Alright. So, in this case, I, I'll give the viewers to check out this line and um, study this but I guarantee that this position has a very good chance for black now <clears throat> so wala na tayong uh, problema sa bishop takes knight Ayan. so though bishop takes knight still played in the top level ah Is, this is still played in the with with two three two four two five players, de ba in in that group. So, but still you can you can study this. Now, ang next line natin. What if castling? So if castling, uh, para siyang format ng ano, <coughs> ng uh, Richter Roser variation. Uh, Rector Roser variation or the what we call the classical line in Sicilian defense. Diba? Parang yung yung knight yung e4 c5 d6 uh tapos after knight f3 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight c6 yun. So yung knight c6 d6 and n c6 the classical variation or the Rector Roser. So 
parang ganun ang setup. It's just that the queen is on d4. Normally, sa rector roser, di ba, may knight sa c6. And then, uh, after, there's knight on d4. And the queen is on d2. So, that is the rector roser. So, parang ganito yung setup niya. So, after this, there is bishop e7 na. So, <clears throat> the viewer might think na parang after this, yung center, if pawn takes, parang okay yung ano yung 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 pote with the queen no? yes it is true that white has a slight advantage in this kind of uh, position pero we have here bishop takes f6 instead of g takes f6 so we are giving up the the pawn on d6 pero after that black will gain the slight advantage uh, or not the slight advantage initiative black black has an initiative in this kind of position so the the, the black queen is attacking the f2 and then this bishop is also threatening the knight on c3 diba? so there's there's a lot of moves looks like the black king is is in big trouble pero the black king is in safe square because of the bishops and the rook on a8 with the queen so for example um let's just say uh e5 diba so ito there is um rook d8 there's only one move which is queen a3 and after that, capture, rook takes, and now bishop e7. Wala siyang ibang tira na naman, and now queen takes. So, <clears throat> this gives uh, black a very good uh, position. For example, uh, ito. So, check. No? So, if knight, oh, dead, dead, dead meat dito g takes ayun may ganun tayo there's no check here because there's queen so if now uh, check there's so, no? very dangerous and after that there is f6 where black king can escape sa position na to now if White plays a very tricky move na. So what if uh, hindi niya itira yung e5, no? So what if he protects the pawn? So ganun pa rin. Atakihin yung queen. So after this, kasi vulnerable yung, yung knight sa c3, kaya we, we put the queen on on queen a3 at the same time to prevent black king to castle so after this capture now let's let's say this move again there is bishop uh, e7 kasi pag kinain mo delikado ka na medyo delikado ka no? so that's why bishop e7 first then after queen b3 then this is queen takes b2. Queen takes f2. So now if uh, king, pag king naman, we have again another setup. Bishop e7, queen b3, and then queen c5. In this position kasi, parang almost subswang ulit yung, yung puti. Kasi hindi matira yung rook. Diba? For example, yung queen din, hindi rin ma-move. Ma, ma For example, knight. Uh, I-move natin doon. So, talo siya. Forking the rook and the knight. No? So, for example, king moves back. no King moves back. Then, just castling. Ganun pa rin. Wala, wala pa rin matira eh. Hindi pa rin matira yung knight. So, for example, nag-move yung knight. Meron tayong rook d8 and then now queen c4 para maka uh, move pero may mga ganitong tira 
diba? After this, I think black has an edge in this position po. Alright, so... Napakahirap. White can get one pawn advantage at first, pero in the end, mahihirapan pala siya. It's not an easy task. So, meron pa. Uh, what if knight takes naman? Uh, so, there's a uh, bishop takes. And again, black has the two bishops in an open position. I think this is good enough to say that uh, black has an edge. So, if, for example naman, nag uh, queen g3, meron, meron mga ganitong tira eh. Bishop takes, no? rook takes, queen takes, b3, then castling, and after that, yung position ng, yung puti is very, ano, very isolated, yung pawn niya sa a2, c2, uh, ito din under attack. So, for example, queen e7, there's queen b6. Ito, ina-atake pa rin, no? Ina-atake pa rin siya. So, not an easy task. Again, for white to proceed. Uh, for example, um, knight b6, uh, meron mga ganitong tira eh. Diba? Kasi talagang not an easy task. So, for, if you choose to remove the rook naman, queen takes. Huh? Not an easy. For, for example, queen a4 naman. Ganun pa rin. No? Talagang aatakihin. Okay. So, what if knight protects the rook? So, ganun pa rin. Queen b2. Then now, queen e2. Queen d4. So that bishop takes good move kasi sa sobrang dami ng uh, problema ng puti hindi niya kayang protektahan lahat even though it is protected by per se uh, it's already too much where white black can just uh, capture uh, so queen takes queen takes if um, knight takes there's queen takes so, again, we will have, uh, again, we will have m some more, kasi may mga, may mga move, may mga move naman na, uh, rook he1, which I will tackle in the, in, in my next video, and other, uh, variations pertaining to this, um, position. I hope you like this video po, and please subscribe sa, um, YouTube channel ko and please press the bell button for future notification then thank you